Hi guys, this is Tekken57 and today's video is going to focus on something slightly different. After taking a look at uh, how the rigging on the WWE 2K22 models work, um, it made me come to a realization that the uh, rig on the WWE 2K19 models um, are quite complex. With a number of additional bones in the rig which is not actually used in game, but rather used for the creation studio. So this makes rigging your model a lot more difficult, makes it more difficult for you to fix errors with the rig, and it also takes much longer to import um, the models into 3D Studio Max. Um, for instance, I've imported two models, for example, um, I've imported the Bray uh, Wyatt's model, and this model takes about 4 minutes 27 seconds on my PC to import. And the custom rig which I've created, which is a port of Peja's Van Hammer uh, Creator Wrestler, only took 47 seconds to import on the new rig which I've uh, created. So to demonstrate, I'll just uh, make the meshes transparent so you can actually see the bone structure. So you can see that the rig I've created is a lot simpler than the uh, rig which is used for uh, wrestler models in 2K19. Um, also, if you move some of these around, you'll see what I mean in terms of the rigging. So let's move the, uh, the shoulder and see what happens. So you'll see right away that the, the model starts to deform when you move the shoulder bone around. So it's difficult to, to fix any issues which may arise. Um, whereas if you look at the rig that I've created, if you move the shoulder bone around, Right away you can see that the <coughs> that the arm moves without any issues and the uh, mesh itself doesn't deform. Uh, you can do the same for the legs except if you need to test it out. So I've put in quite a bit of work to try and get this rig to function correctly in game. I've added animations, I've added uh, texture names and I've added uh, all of the uh, body parts that you require to rig. Um, I chose this model specifically because it has quite a bit of attire uh, meshes to add. It also has two uh, facial hair models which I've added and I've used some additional tricks to get the hair shader to work with multiple animations as well. Um, so let's test this in game and let's see what happens. As you can see the model works fine in game without any issues. The animations work correctly and all of the parts are a rig without issue. The whole point of creating the simplified rig is so that other models can use this as a base uh, for any custom meshes they want to add going forward, um, thereby simplifying the rigging process. If you would like to use this as a base, you're welcome to do so for any of your mods. Just remember to credit me uh, when doing so because I've put in a lot of work to try and get this rig to function correctly in game. Alright, so that's it for this quick video. Um, until next time, happy modding and take care.